tutorial video, you will learn the following. Number 1. Differentiate inscribe from circumscribe polygons. Number 2. Describe the properties of quadrilaterals. And number 3. Construct an inscribe polygon. Let us define first what is polygon. Polygon, it is a closed plane figure bounded by straight sides. When a polygon has equal sides and angles, it can be inscribed or circumscribed the circle that is called regular polygon. I have here figure A and B. Which one is a polygon inscribed the circle? And which one is circumscribed the circle? Awesome! If your answer is A is inscribed and B is circumscribed, you are absolutely correct. When you say inscribed, the polygon is inside the circle. But here, the pentagon. The pentagon is located inside the circle. While circumscribed, the polygon is located outside the circle. Let's proceed to quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals, it is a plane figure or a polygon bounded by four straight sides. These are the kinds of quadrilaterals. We have here the shape. We're going to identify the name and the characteristics. The first one is trapezium. There is no parallel side. If you're going to observe these sides, there are no parallel sides. When you say uh, parallel, if you are going to extend the two lines, the two pairs, it will never intersect. It should be an equidistance, same distance. Next is trapezoid. Exactly one pair of parallel sides, only these two sides are parallel. Then we have rhomboid. Two pairs of parallel sides, one and two, they are parallel. One and two, they are parallel. They have the same distance. Next, we have rhomboid with congruent sides. Okay. Then, we have rectangle. Four right angles. One, two, three, and four. They are right angles, forming 90 degrees. Then, the last one is a square with four right angles. They form 90 degrees. Among the six, one, two, three, four, five, six quadrilaterals, what are those quadrilaterals that can, can you consider as a parallelogram? When you say parallelogram, it is a quadrilateral having both pair of opposite sides are parallel to each other. If your answer are rhomboid, rhombus, rectangle, and square, you are absolutely correct. Are you ready to draw 
a square inscribe the circle drawing tools and materials needed are drawing paper with borderline and title block foot rule compass pencil and eraser are you ready to construct a square inscribe a circle let's begin approximately on the center of our drawing paper draw a small cross Name this point C. Then get your compass. Adjust your compass at any radius. Then set your compass at point C. At any radius, adjust your compass. Then draw a circle. Draw a straight line passing through the center or point C on the circle. Any straight line as long as it passes through point C. Okay, let us try on this direction. Okay. It passed through the center from our circle or circumference. Then, get your compass. Set your compass on the point on the circle. Okay, let us name first this line line A B okay then set your compass at point A adjust your compass more than half of the radius okay then strike an arc also on the lower portion do not adjust your compass anymore transfer your compass at point B then draw another arc then on the lower portion have you seen an intersection of two lines Okay, we're going to name this intersection point D. And another intersection here, point E. Connect the point D and E that pass through C. And we're going to extend that line touches the circumference of the circle. Point D, C, and E. We're going to draw a straight line that pass through or touches the circle. Okay. Let us name this point 
letter F and G. Next is using our foot rule, connect point F to A, A to G, G to B, and B to F. Let us write from point F to A. From point A to G. Then G to B. And B to F. Okay, we have already a square inside the circle. It is a square inscribed the circle. Did you get it? Great job! See you in our next video lesson. I hope you learned from me today. Thank you so much for staying with me. You did a wonderful job. Once again, I'm Teacher Fredly Miranda. Keep safe everyone. Bye! Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell button for more updates and more upcoming video lessons. Bye babies!